Hi friends, this is Fani Bhushan Nagula. Today we're going to learn about the difference between J meter and low cost performing testing tools. We will use certain parameters for differentiating between these two tools. Let's start with existence. Since how long these tools been in the market? J meter, it's, it's one of the most popular performance testing tool with its first version released almost 20 years ago by Apache. Locust is a, a it's relatively a fresh performance framework. It's known for past five years. So JMeter is 100% pure Java based application. It's used for analyzing and measuring the performance of various software products. Locust is purely written in Python programming language. Both these tools, JMeter and Locust, can be used on Windows, Unix, and Mac machine. In JMeter and Locust, both are open source performance testing tools. JMeter is licensed under Apache Software Foundation 2.0 and Locust was developed by a small team of community developers and it's based on MIT license. So when you use GUA and record and playback as a parameter, so for any performance testing tools, there will be three steps. One is create the script, execute the script and analyze the result. JMeter provides a user-friendly GUI to design the test scripts without writing a single line of code unless there is a complex feature in them. JMeter has a record and playback capability also. So apart from the record and playback feature within JMeter, BlazeMeter plugin within Chrome browser also helps us to record the user actions on the, the Chrome browser. It captures the, the all the header information, all, all the, the actions request. So all the information captured using this BlazeMeter plugin on Chrome browser. And you can export the, the script into JMX format, which can be launched on JMeter. And you can change the script um, or used for correlations, other things you can do it on after launching it to JMeter. And also there is a, a tool called Bad Boy Tool, which will also help us to record the scripts, record the, the user actions uh, and the requests and response on the, the Bad Boy Tool. And again, we can able to export the script into JMX format to use it in the JMeter. So Locust, Locust, when you compare it with JMeter, Locust doesn't have GUA or no record and playback capability. So it's it's all about coding in Locust tool. We should have, means the user who is using Locust tool for, for performance testing should have Python programming language experience to design performance script. So scripts written in Locust so very clear and even though there are certain complex features you can able to easily write and the maintainability also very easy compared to uh, the JMeter. In JMeter uh, to change the scripts in JMeter also it's, there are certain difficulties but when you compare it with so the, the maintainability of the locus code is very easy. And when you look at the supported protocols JMeter supports various protocols for various scenarios like HTTP, FTP, JDBC, SOAP, LDAP, TCP, JMS, SMTP, POP3, IMAP, etc. And Locust simply supports HTTP only currently. So when you look at the efficiency of injecting number of concurrent users using JMeter and Locust, 
So before we look, get into the, the JMeter, the number of concurrent users of each tool means when you use any tool, it mo mostly based on the resources they require. Means when you use the number of concurrent users when you're trying to inject, so it depends on the resources which require for running the user on particular load injection machine. So JMeter and Locust have absolutely different ways of dealing with this, um, with the machine resources. So JMeter has a thread based model which allocates a separate thread for each user. Threads allocation and benchmarking, each of these steps takes a noticeable amount of resources. That's why JMeter is very limited recording an amount of users you can simulate on one mission. The number of users that you can run on one mission depends on many factors like script complexity, hardware, response size, and so on. When you look at the low cost, it has a com completely different user simulation model, which is based on the events and asynchronous approach. So it uses G event coroutine, coroutine as the cornerstone of the whole process. Coroutine is a concurrency design pattern to simplify the code to execute asynchronously. Coroutines helps to manage the running tasks so it uses the task model and it manages the, all the, the long running tasks. So if, and it ensures that uh, threads are not blocked. And so if, if the threads blocks, what happens? So your, mm, means your system might be hanging or your uh, system means you might be unresponsive. So there are a lot of means you might have observed when you're using JMeter. So there is a limitation in an in increase in the number of users from your injecting number of users from your machine. And if you're using more number of users than the resources available, then you might have observed certain uh, errors on your machine, like a heap memory issues. And if you sometimes uh, sometimes your thread might be blocked or uh, you, you will not you will not. You, you, some unresponsive things might be observed on your machine. So, but when you compare it with Locust, Locust helps to simulate thousands of concurrent users on a single mission compared to JMeter. So, because of this event model and the asynchronous approach, what been built in Locust, it has uh, it consumes low. Uh, low memory and more um, less number of resources on your machine and uh, it, it, it can be capable enough to uh, inject more number of virtual users than JMeter. Ramp up mechanism. So JMeter has additional plugins that enables you to configure a flexible load, very flexible load. So one of the best example for is, for example, if you've seen ultimate thread group, which allows the user to make very specific load patterns. When you compare with JMeter, so Locust has a different approach. When you run performance script, Locust automatically starts a server on local host using 8089 port with a web interface which gives you input elements to specify only a linear load. It supports the linear load. When we compare with load test monitoring and analysis, JMeter has many different elements called listeners. Each listener provides a specific type of information for monitoring and analysis. JMeter has a lot of inbuilt listeners, and also you can extend the uh, the features using the uh, the plugins. So there are a lot of plugins available, also which you can load it, and uh, you can able to 
uh, do better monitoring and analysis on the results. But there's a, a drawback of using listeners also. Jmeter listeners consumes a lot of resources on the machine which they run on. That's why always prefer to execute Jmeter scripts in non-GUI mode. That doesn't have any listeners. So always disable your listeners before you execute Jmeter scripts and execute the scripts in non j mode. Locust has a so wide arsenal of monitoring capabilities. Locust provides, loc it pro <coughs> Locust provides almost all the information that can be useful for monitoring a basic load test. During the test run, Locust runs a simple web server you can find all the available monitoring results. So apart from the web server which it, it, it creates and gives a lot of uh, the information which required for the basic load test. So it doesn't take much of your machine resources. That's another advantage of this focus too. Look, <clears throat> Even though the uh, locus doesn't provide much information about your much information about your uh, load test, like uh, for which helps for monitoring and analyzing the result, but uh, you can means with the available information, it will help you to do certain analysis. Distributed load testing, both JMeter and Locust tool supports distributed load testing. You can, we can create master and slave model to inject the load from various load injection machines. You can use more than one machine to inject the load. So these are the 10 parameters which I've used for comparing these two tools. Uh, I will help you to do one more thing on the Google. Uh, you can, for example, I will tell you, um, I just uh, said the top 10 open source performance testing tools. Like if you see here, uh, JMeter, Gatling, Locus, Sun, um, CS, HTTP, Perf, Horus, Artillery. So this information has been updated in 2018. Um, so Locus is picking a lot, but now it's, uh, uh, it starts, uh, capturing the market, it started capturing the market. Now it's um, you can see that how it's been in it's in the open source tools or performance testing tools. It is in third place now, but slowly it's going to capture the market. So, but it's um, people who are into the software testing. If you have good knowledge uh, uh, and experience on the Python programming, you can try for this, and you can see the benefit out of it. And uh, there is a, uh, a very recently, there's a company called Crescentis. So I just saw that uh, uh, they did some survey on the open source tools, but I'm just uh, showing this here. Um, so see here, uh, the JMeter is, uh, is king when it comes to open source platform testing with 53% companies reporting some use of it. So around 50, 53% of, um, you can say kind of market share uh, in the, the open source world. Now around even Selenium WebDriver point of view, if you see here 39% and Apache Bench, Flood. So again, Locust. Locust is around 8% now, even though it's a five years old tool in the market, but it's still uh, start capturing the market now. So, this result is just recently in 2020, they have done this on the, uh, the open source tools. Even if you compare, like for example, uh, I'll just do one more thing, top 10 performance testing tools. I'm, I'm just comparing the, uh, the all the company uh, performance testing in the market. Now if you see here, uh, JMeter is in the sec uh, JMeter is also more competitive uh, compared to the license-based tools like Load Ninja, Webload, Load A Pro, Neo Load, Load Runner, Silk Profile. So JMeter is playing good role in the market 
com compared to license based tools thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel click on bell icon for further videos notifications thumbs up click on thumbs up thank you thanks for watching my video again